Hi, I'm going to show you how to get a push notification on your phone or computer or both uh, to you or your team when uh, an exception is thrown in Flask. So to do that, uh, I'm going to use the Sponsored API, which is a free API to send push notifications. So you can get more information about it at api.spontit.com and uh, you can sign up at spontit.com. So uh, to start off, uh, you see I'm signed in here. And uh, first things first, let's just make sure we have it set up properly. So there's a video, there's a link in the description with how to set up Spontit. It's very easy and simple. And uh, to first, to make sure it's set up properly, we're just going to send ourselves a test notification. So uh, clicking my channel here, push. Um, so again, I went to the push tab. I selected my main channel. You can learn about channels. There's a link in the description about what channels are. And then I click the uh, push button. And now I'm typing in test, push to all. And I get a notification. So I can open it up. And there it is. So now that we have that set up, we let's get a secret key. API, secret keys, okay. And then what we're going to do is just very simple, create a new key, copy. And now we're going to go to our Flask app. So you see here, I have a very simple Flask app that when I click on this link and open it, it just shows hello world because that's what we're returning here. And I added the resource here. Okay. So now we're going to want to push an error message in the whole stack trace. Uh, every time um, that, uh, that, that an exception is thrown. So uh, to do that, uh, let's just first uh, force a, a 500 error, which is an internal uh, server error. So to do that, we're going to create an endpoint called force 500 error. Uh, let's see here. And the methods uh, get, because we're going to open it up in the browser. That's the easiest way to demonstrate this. And def uh, define a function called force 500 error. And we're going to uh, try to make an int out of the word apple. Uh, and then just return render template. Oh, well, I guess, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter what we return here. Okay, so now let's go over here. Uh, let's make sure this restarts first here. Okay, I think it did. So force 500 error. And there we go. Okay, invalid in, uh, literal for int with base 10 apple. Because <laughs> that is not an integer. Uh, in case you did not know. So uh, the next step here is to simply, uh, so the next step here is we want to uh, catch this exception and then we want to send a push notification with all the information about it because last thing we want are 500 errors uh, in our API. So, um, or really this is also for any exception, so not just 500. So the first thing, uh, let's just define, it. So, so now, you know, uh, stepwise, let's define a function called push, push error message, okay? So this is where the sponsored API comes in. So up here, we're going to do from Spontit import Spontit resource. Okay. Uh, if you, so yeah, there, there's more. I'll include a link in the description to the uh, Python wrapper uh, for Spontit, which is what we'll be using. Uh, so if you want more information on how that works, you can go to that repository. So Spontit source equals Spontit resource. And now uh, we need to create, uh, we need to initialize a class. Uh, so we're going to, we need a user ID and a secret key. So remember, uh, we have our secret key here, and the user ID uh, can be found. Let's just uh, get rid of that line. Okay, the user ID can be found uh, on profile. So go to profile, and remember, if you change your user ID, you will have to uh, you know change it as well in the initialization of the class. So just copy and paste, uh, add it right here, and there we go. So uh, to First, let's just test, uh, does this work? So we can just say, hello world, okay? And uh, then maybe instead of running uh, it here, we can just say push error message. There we go. So see, it works, okay? So now that we have that, uh, now let's try to intercept the uh, error. Okay, so at application error handler, uh, yeah, 
uh, exception. So you can change it to whatever you want. Uh, it doesn't have to be just you know that broad, but this is a pretty straightforward way to do it. So we do def uh, exception handler e, so that that will give us the error. Um, and let's just uh, every time there's an exception, let's just push the error message and uh, and abort 500. You can uh, handle that however you want. Okay, so now let's run it again. And boom. Okay. So now we want information about that error to be sent to us. Okay. So the uh, thing we want to do here is, um, well, we want to pass something to this. So let's say error message goes in here. Okay. So uh, so now instead of uh, the main text, this is the alert. Okay. So first, this will just tell us what's going on. And this is limited to 100 characters, so we can't really include the whole stack trace here. But the body is uh, has, you can put up to um, you can put up to 5,000 characters. Okay, so let's do. Uh, but if you do more, this will return an error. So just get the min length of the error message or 5,000. So whichever one shorter, just truncate it to 5,000. This way, you always get a notification, no matter what. Okay, so there we go. Um, so now we, we want a little bit about this error message here. So we just do that. And then this, to get the stack trace, um, we can use traceback. So uh, this is something that is pretty useful. It creates a string of the traceback from the error. And uh, you know we, then we just put it in here. So that's the function you use. Again, import traceback, there we go. And uh, that should be it. So uh, let's try again. Okay, so here we go. We can open it. And we get a trace back here. So, uh, tra uh, yeah, sorry, a stack trace <laughs> uh, here. So we can see the error, we can see what line it was in. And uh, there we go. So uh, one last thing, so this is pushing to the main channel, so we can actually just create another channel and isolate those pushes there. So there are two things we can do to make sure that the right people get this uh, message. Uh, server errors, okay, and uh, then over here we just put in channel name server errors, okay, and then we can refresh it here. And, uh, and one last thing, so I said there were two ways. You can uh, specify individual users. So to send it to just yourself, uh, you can put in that user ID. But if you have another one like friend user ID, you can add them there. But they have to be following the channel that you're pushing to. So for now, we'll just do that. Uh, and uh, we'll go back here. And you see I get it on this here. So I can open that. And you see it's on that channel. And there we go. Great. Well, thank you for watching. If you have any uh, questions or feedback, uh, feel free to comment or uh, send an email at, to info at spontit.com. Thanks again.